Now, let us reach out to Brother Tim on the planet Sextus. Brother Tim, come in, please. Greetings, Brother Tim. Hello. I'm happy to see you again. Good. We are happy to contact you, and we... Your light is enormous in my screen, just jumping right out at me. The light is all-consuming, wonderful beyond words. I know you must be overjoyed at our progress. In my higher self, I am conscious of the progress, for we are with you uh, constantly, very frequently. In this physical consciousness through which I'm speaking, in this vehicle, uh, we are not necessarily aware, and this is why we have contact you, to give you the opportunity to relate to us of your uh, particular endeavors and uh, forward motion for our books. This is the last contact we will make before concluding this series of books. And so we stop by to see if you would relate to us just what has happened since our last contact of your progress or whatever has been changed for the better with you and your people. I would be glad to... We have built a machine which is of a healing nature, one in which when a person walks underneath these beams of light, healing rays, he is immediately brought under the influence of the higher energies, and he is cleansed of many of his deterring emotionalisms. He becomes calm and peace-filled. They are situated in a room which we have specially constructed, and these buildings are placed throughout our world. Some are still not finished, but we have sufficiently a large number done so that the people can come and be refreshed. The purpose is to show that we can progress only when we are attuned to the inner world's light. That's what this machine incorporates or is affiliated with. The crystal lenses, which are the main elements which these rays come through, are tuned synchronously with the higher spiritual healing energies which is flowing into the lower dimensions. And it is a continuous bombardment of healing rays. However, if the person is not attuned, he has no effect. But there is no effect. We have proof of this. And all of the people know that they must learn to be attuned before they can have a releasement of many of their uh, binding chains of the earth. Not to say that we are uh, forcing them into these chambers, but it is an incentive placed in these positions so that a person will desire to be healed. It can be said to be a physical healing machine also because we have cases of this happening. That when the person has studied the 
fundamental concepts given by the lens and then walks through in a transcended state, the better the attunement, the more healing. Oh, this is very wonderful. And uh, this is uh, a piece of equipment uh, with which I have not yet been made familiar in this conscious mind or physical dimension. And I am most pleased to hear of this. Very, very wonderful. And I can see the logic of it all. I'm sure you are most pleased with your results due to the use of this equipment. Yes, we have many, many wonderful testimonials and results because of these, uh, because of the application of the principles that comparatively few have uh, accomplished. But the masses uh, do not wonder that this is true because even though it is only a few, the proofs are so dramatic that it is undeniable. And so we have many uh, contactees who are honestly trying to progress so that they can uh, experience likewise the promise of a healing or immortality is developed only by our understanding and application of principles. This is what the lens teaches, which you have so wonderfully and graciously brought to our world. Well, to say that we are happy for your progress and change is not stating at all. We are indeed delighted that you have arrived at this point, and we can state most sincerely that the future will open up within you greater wonders and joy and revelations as you grow in the understanding of this vast science of the infinite of energy. We'll never come to the end, the conclusion of this, of these revelations, of this being made oh, more and more aware of the wondrous, infinite nature of infinity. The mind must grow slowly. It cannot jump great heights quickly. It must open up and move outwardly, express outwardly, slowly, but when one is ready or opens himself up, much help can be given. And as you well know, this inner help is always must be extended in ratio to the effort the individual makes. No, it is of no consequence that one is forced. He must be desirous. He must be ready and willing and open his mind to new concepts. And when he is and does, this life will indeed change for the better, as you have seen with your very own selves, your people change. And this is but a beginning. There will be um, many, many revelations and observations, much into the future, that will quicken and cause you to have great joy as you walk forward in this wondrous, luminous, infinite concept. We of this Unarius science are most fortunate in this golden age, this day, to have this a wonderful science of living, which the great overshadowing overlord and moderator has brought to this earth world for distribution. It has only been within the last few weeks that I've been made aware that this wonderful science can be given and is being given to all the other earth planes, planets, all in this galaxy. And indeed, it does give me great cause to be joyous. It causes great humility and a most wondrous feeling of awe, inspiration, 